So today we want to draw a square. And uh, this is actually the first steps of making an eight-sided star. But for now, we'll just look at how to draw a square using a circle. So the first thing you'll do is you'll draw a circle. And you want to make sure that you push down on it enough where you can see the center. Because we're going to use the center. So the first step to drawing um, a square is we're going to be using the center and draw the line going through the circle, which is the diameter. So we're cutting the circle in half. So the whole circle is 360. If we cut it in half, it's half of that. So that's one of the reasons why a line is 180. It's half of the circle or halfway around it. Um, so what we want to do is create another line here to make 90 degrees, but we want to make sure it makes a, a right angle and it's not crooked. Because then if we did this and connected the dots, we'll make a rectangle rather than a perfect square. So a perfect square needs even uh, distances from each end point. So I'm going to bisect the line. I'm going to go a little bit past the middle. Draw an arc. Go to the other side and repeat it, make it a little bit longer here. So now we've got the markings to bisect or cut the line in half, and we do it at a 90 degree angle. It's called a perpendicular bisector. So I'm gonna go and cut that line in half. So what I have now is a very, very, very important structure um, that we can make a square out of. And then we could use this to begin drawing circles around it and cut it in half and make an eight-sided star. We'll have another video for that. But one thing to consider is we have a right angle. So, you know, if you look around the buildings and walls and papers and in constructing actual livable things, a cathedral, we use right angles because of gravity. So right angles are very important structures that help to create stability and strength. Um, if you were drawing a house and the house didn't have perpendicular walls, well, over time, those crooked walls would have gravity push them down further and further. They'd lean over, sort of like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. They have to keep maintaining it because it keeps falling over more. And uh, they could fix it, but they, they like the unique look of it at this point. It's a tourist attraction. So to finish this, what we do is we connect the dots where the circle touches those lines. When we do that, we're going to have a perfect square. And of course, you want to be careful in using your ruler. I'm kind of doing it quickly. It will look crooked if you are not connecting the dots perfectly. So now what we have is a square. We have right angles here. And we notice that the square has perpendicular diagonals or the lines that crisscross. Um, one thing I had mentioned, uh, we can now begin to use this to make other shapes. So this will be another video, but I can take this original circle, realign it. I can draw a circle here. I can go to the other side, draw a circle there. I can go to the top draw a circle there, and I can go to the bottom and draw a circle there. So this is actually a pretty popular pattern, but if we were to now find the, the middle here, we can draw four more circles and we can make an eight-sided star. I'll make a video for that. But for now, you can kind of see, I've seen these in bricks and on walls, you can see this unique little pattern that I've seen in artwork, even Japanese buildings. And it's kind of like a flower, four leaf clover type shape. And uh, what you have is a way to construct a square, as well as the beginnings of making other shapes and mandalas and other things. So hopefully this helps you understand how to draw a line, cut it in half, using a perpendicular bisector, and connect the dots to make your perfect square.